This case study describes how we merge two software as a service businesses in a user centered way. This is a case study of Overleaf and Shirley Tech, which in 2017 were two established online platforms for LaTeX editing. They were competitors with over 2 million users together. Now, Overleaf and Shirley Tech were online LaTeX editors, so what is LaTeX? LaTeX is a document preparation system which supports, for instance, citations, cross references, and mathematical equations. Due to this, and the fact that it allows for high quality typesetting, it's widely used in academia. Authors use LaTeX markup code, such as the example on the left, which is then compiled to produce a document like the figure on the right. Both platforms shared the basic core ability of LaTeX editing, but they were different. Overleaf View 1 had a rich text what is what you get mode, friendly for new users, as well as strongly integrated with journals and publishers. Shelly Tech, on the other hand, had a lower latency real-time editor with additional collaboration features such as tracks changes. In July 2017, Overleaf and Shelly Tech announced that they were joining forces. This was an acquisition. Overleaf fully acquired the company and the team behind Shelly Tech. The goal was to create a single platform, Overleaf B2. We know software emergence come with many challenges, and from a UX standpoint, both platforms had established user bases. These users were proficient with their editor of choice, and understandably, there was some change of version which we had to overcome. To minimize uncertainty and to make it clear that the new platform was an improvement, we put together a UX strategy to keep users at the center of the merger and to provide reassurance. The strategy was based on frequent communication, iteration, and validation. From a methodological standpoint, we have used a mixed methods approach where the different methods work together complementarily. We have two major surveys, pre- and post-integrations, which were used as a cost-effective way of surveying the global user base. We have feature-specific interviews to gather in-depth qualitative insight on how users organize their LaTeX projects, and we also had a private beta with three phases, each one releasing more features and onboarding more users. We have also conducted a usability test to the core editing functionality of Overleaf V2. Due to the size of the user base, the global pre- and post-surveys were a key part of our research strategy to service shared a similar structure so that the results could be compared. We asked users how they felt about merger on a five-point Likert scale, we had some profiling questions, and finally a set of open-ended questions about expectations, what they appreciated about their editor of choice and priorities. The results were positive. The user's rating of their feelings toward the merger has increased from pre- to post-integration. We have also conducted interviews regarding project organization features, namely the dashboard and project history. We have identified small improvements to both, but no major changes. Users consider this as a minor part of their overall experience with Overleaf. The editor is where they spent most of their time, and this gave us confidence in focusing our efforts in the editor. The usability test was conducted as part of the private beta. It was task-oriented, moderated, and followed a concurrent think aloud protocol. This allowed us to capture the participants' feelings and thought processes, enhancing the qualitative outcomes of the test. No large issues were found. Most of the issues were related to UI changes, namely the placement of certain elements or default options. Although the initial plan was mostly followed, we did incorporate some changes to our roadmap to address feedback. The first major change was the Git integration. Overleaf V1 supported direct Git integration, whereas Shelly Tech provided an integration through a provider, GitHub. The initial decision was to only keep the Shelly Tech version as we wanted to avoid maintaining two similar features. However, user feedback revealed that direct Git integration was fundamental to the workflows of some users, so we decided to bring it back. The other changes were related to the editor look and feel, namely the creation of a light theme and configurable start code font options. And although these changes might be easy to dismiss as cosmetic, they do play an important role in user satisfaction and comfort for long editing sessions. The new Overleaf V2 was launched in September 2018 and offered via email, blog posts, and an official press release. We have since reached significant users' milestones. From 2 million users in 2017, we are now at 7.5 million users. At the same time, Overleaf has also received external recognition and awards. Internally, the merger was considered a success, with user research being one of its drivers. Being user-centric is a defining aspect of the company work culture. From a critical standpoint, it is true that by merging Shelly, Tech, and Overleaf, we have effectively reduced competition. However, due to ongoing engagement with users, we are confident. We have an established and happy user base who appreciates the convenience and reliability of Overleaf. I'd like to end this presentation by noting that since at least 2019, this very conference, Kai, has been providing authors with a link to an Overleaf template for paper submissions. And this further contributes to a notion of Overleaf as a successful product and a popular choice for LaTeX-based authoring. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to the live Q&A session.